Hey everybody, what is up? Gary Simon here. So today's exciting because we're going to get our feet wet in the world of crypto and Web3 essentially. So I'm gonna show you how to create a quick vanilla JS application in which a user can connect a crypto wallet called uh, MetaMask. Now in MetaMask, it simply allows you to interact with dApps or decentralized apps, which is one of the use cases. And as a UI UX designer, I'm really excited about this because if you know anything about the Web3 world and crypto, there's really a significant issue in terms of the UX in many of these projects. So not only am I going to initially show you what we're going to make, um, I'm also gonna walk you through the UX and the UI considerations when you're trying to onboard a user to a new wallet. Um, and then also we are going to show you very quickly how to create the project in vanilla JS with HTML, CSS, and of course, JavaScript. So as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that happens here is when we refresh the browser, um, it is going to check whether or not we have the MetaMask extension installed. As you can see up here, we currently do not, and therefore it's going to instruct a user to install the wallet. So fair enough, I, when we click this, it's going to detect automatically which browser they're on. In this case, we're on Firefox. Uh, it could be Chrome otherwise. And it will take you to the Firefox add-ons page where you can just simply add MetaMask right here. Now this is a little bit of a process because it has to onboard you first. So once it continues on, we're gonna hit okay over here, get started. Uh, are you new to MetaMask? Of course, if you have an existing wallet, you can already import it with your secret recovery phrase. Otherwise, we're gonna click create a wallet. You have to agree. We'll generate a password, accept terms, hit create. And then it's also gonna have another page where we hit next. And then finally, just remind me later. And there we go. We have our wallet ready to go and installed. So if we come back here and refresh this, it's gonna let us know to connect the wallet. All right, so we can also see up here, uh, we have a Lottie animation SVG that is, or JSON rather, that is pointing up to the general area here on desktop at least where the extensions would be. So one could either just click on this plugin or, or the, the extension up here to bring this up and connect the wallet or just click connect MetaMask right here. So as you can see, we also have another Lottie animation playing here. And this right here, in terms of UX purposes, is just letting the user know that, hey, we're waiting for you to perform an action, essentially. Uh, notice we've also kind of dimmed out or disabled the Connect MetaMask uh, button right here. So we're gonna hit Next, we'll hit Connect, and there we go. So we let the user know through animation of some sort that we're connected. Um, the little green status symbol. All we're doing in this case is just returning the uh, Ethereum account address. But now, once we refresh, we could see that we are in a connected state. And that is what we're going to build here going forward. So the very first thing we're going to do is run npm init hyphen y. And this utilizes the node package manager, which if you do not have installed, you can install it at nodejs.org for free. And this creates an empty package.json file. Now after that, we are also going to install the MetaMask onboarding library. And I'll describe this in a little bit when we get to the JavaScript section. And then finally, we install Parcel, which is a super fast JavaScript bundler that will also allow us to launch a quick server with hot reloading. Next up is the HTML. We're gonna wrap everything in an onboard container div class and then have three different Lottie animations with the Lottie player. Now Lottie allows you to integrate some awesome animations that you couldn't otherwise create with HTML and CSS alone. Then we have an H1, a paragraph, and a link element for the rest of the UI. And yes, it is that freaking simple. And then finally, we will link the Lottie player JavaScript library and also reference our index.js file. Now next up is the CSS, and I'm not gonna spend much time describing everything that's happening with our CS hair, but it's nothing special. Now you can visit the GitHub repo, by the way, for this project to access all the code, by the way, which is right here in the YouTube description if you expand it. Not to interrupt things, but if you're interested in learning UI UX design from scratch, you should definitely check out designcourse.com, which is my new interactive platform for learning UI UX design. There's over 16 hours of video. There's also dozens of interactive modules from which you can learn UI design fundamentals. And there's also mentorship where you can actually 
get my guidance and feedback as you design and progress throughout the course. So definitely check that out along with any coupons that are available here in the top line of the YouTube description. All right, let's get back to it. So first we need to import the MetaMask onboarding library that will redirect the user back to our site after installing the library. Now this right here is for one of the Lottie animations that we want the ability to play upon successful wallet connection. Now this next section is just to access the various DOM elements needed for manipulation for this project. Now this is a function to check whether or not MetaMask is installed on the user's browser. Now it's a boolean, which means it returns either a true or false value and it's super, super simple. Now next is a function that will run on page load, which will determine if MetaMask is installed by running the function we just created. Now if it's not, we want to update some of the text and also direct the button to open up the MetaMask extension installation page for the respective browser. Now next up, this is a function that we're going to bind to the button's onClick method to bring up the installation page. And this is going to use that onboarding library that we imported before for that logic. So now we update the text to inform the user that they need a wallet and then direct them to the extension download page if in case MetaMask is not installed. Now next up, we're gonna create a function called connect wallet and it's going to make a call to MetaMask and determine if it's currently connected to the site. Now if it is, it will return an array of accounts and if not, it won't and it will know to tell them to connect their wallet. Now here's a real quick function we're going to call to change the various texts in Lottie animations based on when a user successfully connects their wallet. Now I'm putting it in a function because it's called twice, once on page load potentially, and also when a button is clicked. So connect wallet is an asynchronous function and when it returns a response that we're calling accounts, we'll check if accounts is greater than zero, meaning if it is, we call that previous function that we just created. If it's not, then we have to advise the user to connect their wallet. Now finally, we'll listen for a click on our button, change some colors, and initiate a try catch to request access to MetaMask. Next up, we'll bring up the console and we will run parcel index.html, which will bring up the browser. And so once again, here is a quick time lapse of the actual onboarding process. It is convoluted and hopefully in the future, browsers will natively have their own wallets. In fact, I believe Brave Browser actually does that already, but of course we need Chrome and Firefox to jump on board as well. Finally, we go ahead and click connect our mask and then we run through a couple steps then in the extension and finally it is connected from which then we can access our MetaMask and any tokens that we have within it to interact with decentralized apps. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. You learned something new and going forward, I'm definitely interested in partaking a little bit more in getting our feet wet in the world of crypto, Web3 and DeFi. All right, so as always, make sure to subscribe and definitely check out designcourse.com and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.